All right, let's talk about Justin Fields. You know, I made a video kind of comparing him to Russell Wilson, saying who I think should start, but I figured, you know, I really could make a whole video about him, really discuss where he's at currently at this point in the NFL, because, you know, he's been a very interesting player, a very talked about player. There still is question marks as to how good is he. So for the Pittsburgh Steelers, what are they getting with Fields if he does end up being a starter for them? Well, you know, whether that's at the beginning of the year or midway through the year. Let's start off with this play because to me, this is his best attribute. And quite frankly, I've never seen a quarterback do what he does in these types of situations where you see I've highlighted an Atlanta player off the edge. And right off the bat, the offensive line screws this up. It's a straight shot to Fields. And this wasn't, you know, sometimes you see these and it's kind of the quarterback's fault. They could have set the protection better. This isn't one of those instances. There was three players that could have blocked the three Atlanta players in front. Uh, just, you know, uh, the tackle, I believe, was at fault here. So straight shot to Fields. What can you do? Well, for most quarterbacks, the answer would be nothing. But watch Fields somehow gets around this, and he's going to actually break another tackle as well. That alone, just getting to this spot, is already incredible. And I've never seen a quarterback get around contact with the efficiency that Fields can do. It doesn't always work out, and sometimes he relies on it a bit too much, but it's it's truly remarkable. It really is. As you see, Fields is going to run, uh, you know, scramble up, and he picks up a first down on third down and eight. I mean, that's a huge swing in a game, right? Atlanta could have gotten the ball back uh, right there and instead you're extending the you know extending the, the drive and picking up about 20 yards worth of field position given you would have gotten sacked and instead you're picking up yards instead just a huge swing in a game and, and he is capable of doing this the running also can work in design rushes which to me if you're if you have fields on your team and you decide you know what we're going to have him be a starter or he's a starter due to injury whatever you would be a fool not to do stuff like this, which is use his legs to your benefit, kind of game plan around that, play like this. So what would you do in a typical running situation? You might have a blocking concept like this, but... How would you block that Arizona player? Well, usually you would have to get someone else to block him. You know, have a guard instead of block a linebacker on the right side of the screen, go over and block, you know, the player I've circled in white, right? That's what you, usually something like that. But because Fields is going to be the one rushing here, the halfback can now run up and, you know, make that block right there. So even if you only have a single safety deep as a defense, well, it doesn't matter because you basically need no safeties deep if you're going to have, you know, an unblocked man somewhere. This is just a huge benefit. As you see when this play begins, you know, Chicago, they all make their blocks and Fields is able to pick up a good you know, amount of yards on that one. And that's just what you need, you know, uh, to have happen. And this is definitely something that is relatively easy to do. Now, everyone still has to make their blocks. That's not the easy part. But still, uh, you know, it, it just it, it gives you that much of a benefit. Something like this is another kind of example of that, kind of playing off that a little bit, where it's going to be a, it's actually man coverage. You have a receiver running over, you know, over the middle towards the bottom of the screen. Fields will run a play action and also go in that direction. As you see, Fields is going to take the snap. He does run in that direction. He is going to fire in that direction. And, and there is a window here, right? It's not a not a huge window, though. And one thing I thought Fields did a good job of, which he didn't used to do, is get his feet planted and kind of get everything, you know, get the fundamentals of his game down so he can make this throw as good as possible instead of just throwing on to run. And as you see, it's an accurate ball. I mean, it's not caught by DJ Moore, but again, it was kind of a tough play by Moore. What are you going to do? Uh, but that was a really well done play by Fields. So the benefits of Fields' game are very much there. And when you watch his highlights, you almost start wondering to yourself, why isn't he like a superstar? Why isn't that happening? When watching footage for this game, you saw it. They put up a, the, on the broadcast, uh, you know, a, kind of some of the top prospects that they could draft with the first overall pick. And they did throw Marvin Harrison Jr. on there as like, a, hey, maybe it won't be Fields. But this is just something they threw on there in the middle of a broadcast in a Bears game. So obviously, you know, they made the move to move off of Fields. Why? Well, let's go over here. I mean, because listen, part of why they went off of fields is the obvious stuff because Caleb Williams is really good. But why else did they do it? Well, a play like this. It's zone coverage. Justin Fields is going to take the snap and he's going to look down the field. And so, you know, scans the field, doesn't love what he sees. And this is something that you would see a lot is looks down the field and doesn't love what he sees. And if you're just, just watching the broadcast footage, uh, you know, you might be looking at this saying, oh, clearly nothing was open. Fields trying to make something happen out of nothing. But I'll do a little picture in picture here as you see, you know, the thing that I've added on the screen. This is what's going on further down the field. I tried to match it up exactly uh, right now, you know, at the same time. And you see there is a player who is open. I mean, this 
you know, this is open. Like, this is an opportunity to get a lot of yards on this play. Meanwhile, for Fields, watch him step up, and he's going to actually get around the pressure, you know, gets around those two guys. Uh, I have to pause it right here just for copyright reasons, but is able to pick up a first down on this play. In fact, he rushes and maybe even gets just as much had he thrown it. Now, there was a hold. That's kind of the issue. You will get some holding penalties when you're a Russian quarterback, so you could argue that that's the downside. But I wanted to show this play because I think it kind of fully shows who Fields is as a player, right? Like, he will sometimes not make the, the throws that he should make. Like, sometimes there are guys open, and he just doesn't push the ball down the field. That's just a thing that he does. Part of me wonders if this is kind of Chicago's fault in a lot of ways of hurting his development, of guys not getting open early on in his career. Kind of felt like he had to rely on his legs a little bit more, but, but still, these are still some issues that you see in his game, and th this isn't the only thing. Like, a play like this is going to be another one where I, I think that it's fair to say Fields, you know, he'll make some poor decisions. He'll he'll push the ball in areas where he probably shouldn't. Something like this, see the route, and again, on paper, could it work? Sure. And in fact, even, you know, looking down the field, you see that, again, there's an opportunity here. I mean, you know, you can kind of see what Fields sees if he decides to make this throw, but there's a couple of things to note. For one, this is a third and 16, and DJ Moore's route isn't going to be past the first down marker. So it's already probably not worth the risk. You are throwing on the hash marks towards the top of the screen. It's such a tough angle. You're going to have to really get it there in a hurry. This throw has a bit too much air under it and quite frankly just wasn't worth the risk in that situation either, I don't think. So that's probably a mistake by Fields. You can argue if it's a missed throw or a, just a missed, uh, you know, a bad decision in general. But that is one that I think it's fair to say was not Fields' best, uh, best play. And this is just something he does. He'll put the ball in harm's way. I feel like this is another one where you know, you're going to see him kind of try to fit it through a tight window. Doesn't really work out. Again, bit of an underthrow there as well, which did not help. The reality is Fields has just not been a consistent passer. He just hasn't. And there's times too where it's a play doesn't work and he still tries to fit it through that tight window anyway and it gets intercepted, right? So sometimes he doesn't hit throw it to an open guy. Other times he does throw it to a guy who isn't open. As a whole, though, I do think the good mostly outweighs the bad with Fields. I don't think he's a bad quarterback by any means. I just don't know if he's an elite quarterback either, obviously. Maybe there's still hope that you could make him such, but as of right now, that is just not who he is. People will make jokes, oh, he's a running back, but, you know, at the end of the day, if, if you're adding value to a team, you're adding value to a team, and especially one you, you know, only getting paid $3 million this season, that's pretty good value, although, uh, you know, the Steelers have an interesting decision to make as in a couple of months, they're going to have to decide if they want to give him the fifth year option, which I'm assuming they're not going to want to do because that's over 20 million. But if you don't do that, well, then, you know, even if he's good this year, now you have to give him a big contract. So there is that aspect as well. So that's why the Bears moved off of him, not just to get a great prospect, but to get a great prospect with you know, now four years of a rookie deal. But I do think there's a lot to like about Fields, even if there are negatives as well. And I am interested in seeing what he does for Pittsburgh. But yeah, that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.